In Uganda today, there are certainly a rising number of successful women in businesses. This not only promotes independence amongst the women in business, but also enhances the country's economic base. Olive Chigongo, the president of the Chamber of Commerce, is one of them. Yes, uh, women should be encouraged, but I also want to say that uh, women have got equal brains, capabilities. You understand? So to me, it's, it's a, yes, I'm gender sensitive, but I want us to be looked at as equal partners in whatever we do. For close to a decade, Olive has been engaged in effort geared at enhancing Uganda's social economic development, and she is not about to stop. Women can no longer be underestimated, she adds. She also notes that it takes two to tango, and therefore, the men still have a significant role to play in women's emancipation. Men in that we are partners, we have got equal capability, as I said that earlier, but not to us as an inferior kind of, uh, not to an inferior group. No. We are also capable, we should be treated as able uh, people, we should be treated as uh, people who, who are also the same as the only difference is you're a man and a woman. When it comes to my brain, I don't think there's anything different. Lucy Namobiru, an entrepreneur who has dared to venture into an industry that is dominated by foreign clothing giants, says it is important that women contribute in the business industry for empowerment. This, however, has not been a smooth sail. Nobiru says most of the challenges have made her stronger and more innovative. I advise the women to believe in themselves and have no fear for setting up businesses. For we all start with something small that later matures into something big. They should also learn to love what they do so that they can easily face the challenges that they may encounter in their various businesses. I also didn't start from where I am today. I encountered various challenges where my business almost collapsed. However, my love for what I do has brought me this far. Robin Yoso and Charlotte Amuge for UBC News.